Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dofra and today guys we have a new video about Summoner's War. Today we're gonna have a look on how to ruin the Fire Fairy King Daphnis. We had a, a video about his uh, debut in RTA but uh, we're gonna go through how to ruin him properly this time. I'm gonna show you the runes and I'm gonna give you some tips obviously. We're gonna check the stats, base stats, what the skills do, uh, what Daphnis is good for, um, how to counter him as well. So we're gonna go in depth and uh, check out how to actually ruin the fire fairy king guys before we get into that don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it is free and support the channel a whole lot so if you can please hit the sub button it really really helps now uh let's check the base stats i don't have him built in pve yet i literally got him last week so i didn't really tried him in pve but i i know what it would be good for but i'll show you the pvp one in a second uh base stats let's start from that uh almost 10k hp which is average i feel like it's a bit below average because 10k is just like okay below 10k is actually pretty low a down to 34 um base attack that's not bad 648 defense that's not great it's not extremely bad, but it's on the bad side. 98 base speed also not the extremely best, not the best, but uh, not even that lower, that much lower than the average, which is 100 anyway. Um, he awakens into accuracy, which is really good, and uh, it gives a big help actually on running him. Um, Okay, skills. What does he do? Attacks skill one, attack twice, and uh, has a chance of uh, of applying glancing hit for two turn on the opponent glancing hit is actually pretty annoying i'm not gonna lie 50 percent chances when you skill him up 50 percent chance of landing glancing hit glancing hit as i said is really annoying if the opponent is a wind unit they are guaranteed to glance on the fire unit so that's not bad skill two is overwhelm uh it does aoe reset for one turn and disturb their HP recovery for one turn. Also, HP block is not even that bad as well, especially with the value being around. Uh, it's one turn only, but it could be really, really, really important. Uh, but the reset obviously is the best uh, thing about this. 70% uh, chances, it goes up to 80% as a three turn cooldown. That's not bad at all. Is it three turn cooldown or is it two turn cooldown? That's a three turn cooldown. Uh, skill free. Obviously, the main reason why people use Daphnis or should use Daphnis uh, remove all beneficial effect and then um, weaken the enemy defense for one turn if you successfully remove the beneficial effect. So, if they have buffs, you remove them, you defense break them, and then decrease the HP of yourself and the enemy target by 30% before even hitting them. 15% um, if it's a boss, okay, inflict great damage to the target and creates a shield that's. 50% of the inflicted damage for free turn afterwards. Meaning, strips, defense break, massive damage, 50% of the damage creates a shield on Daphnis, which give him um, sustain. So yes, the base stats are pretty terrible, HP and defense, but the shield is pretty big if you actually, <laughs> if you actually strips and if you actually strips and defense break and crit, the shield is actually pretty good. It's on free turn cooldown. The good thing is, this skill is a free turn cooldown as well so once that shield goes out he has it again uh, in the meantime he's gonna get focused he will get focused but he's gonna have a decent shield again if he actually strips defense break and crit um leader skill crit rate overland monster arena by 33 percent that's not bad but obviously you probably gonna use hp percentage leader skill in arena uh speed leader skill in arena probably not the best but if you don't have anything else that's gonna help him crit right so uh yeah so what is daphne's good for i think it could be good for siege offense to be honest uh you get rid of one unit on the opponent side straight away and then uh, you know it's gonna be easier as a 3v2 um i don't think he's uh, it's probably gonna be decent for bosses in uh, toa because he has that uh skill obviously that the boss the monster the boss monsters in TOA though don't have immunity though so it's gonna be hard for him to defense break unless you defense break with Lauren 
or with any other defense break and then Daphne is gonna do big damage it's 15 percent instead of 30 but 15 percent hp of the bosses is a lot so it's probably gonna be decent for that i still prefer like jameer i still prefer spectra i still prefer the light um griffin but probably probably is decent uh, any other place to use him uh, arena offense maybe but there is aoe's there is khaki that is a lot better than him for for arena offense so i feel like rta is the best place to use him he fell off a little bit but i do believe he's uh, underused to be honest with you i got him last week i used him a little bit and he he has won every game i used him in or he has got pre banned <laughs> which is great as well because uh, it allows me it allows me to use that the main the main team let's say uh that's how Daphne is i still have to grind him definitely need to uh, put some more grinds and stuff uh he's not fully grinded for sure he's on swift swift focus obviously the focus is really really important because of skill three you want to ship and defense break and also the crit rate is really important i would like a hundred crit rate but I'm a bit far from that. I can get over 90% with grinds, but again, <laughs> I'm not there yet. Um, but yeah, speed crit damage attack on Swift focus. I would like Swift will better, uh, but I can make him fast enough or I can get enough accuracy and crit rate if I put him on wheel. Because I feel like my wheel runes are my other monsters already. I don't want to switch them around too much. Uh, but yeah, this is the runes um, here. I mean, obviously you can get more speed, but the 23% crit rate is actually pretty important. Accuracy, I can get higher accuracy here, which would be really, really important. Uh, that's another one that can get a little bit extra accuracy. I think I can get extra HP probably, but it's fine. Uh, extra crit rate could be possible here, can be possible. I can get 10% extra attack here. Um, a little bit more HP, I think I can get that, and a little bit more query rate here. Um, artifacts, <laughs> I couldn't think about the name of it. Uh, additional damage on the artifacts is the best way to go. Additional damage by attack, obviously, is the most important. Additional damage by speed is also pretty important. Additional damage by HP, by defense, any additional damage. Or, if you actually have a 100% query rate, you could go skill-free crit damage. That would be pretty pretty good as well uh, but additional damage by attack will actually help a lot here i need to change either bomb damage or hp when revived for another additional damage uh, here i have uh, three additional damage which is really good i would say main stat should be attack because you want as much attack as possible so you can do as much damage as possible on the opponent um again swift you can go rage I want to try to build him on rage because I feel like it's fine it's really fast but I feel like I can go a bit slower there because tablet is 167 it doesn't need to be 267 sorry 276 all right anyway um swift will would be good swift blade works because of the crit rate swift focus works uh rage works as well fatal works as well uh, obviously wheel would be the best offset but it's really hard to get high crit rate high accuracy high speed high attack you know you ideally you would like you would need a hundred crit rate because if you miss the crit on skill free it's kind of a you're probably gonna lose that game i'm not gonna lie and high accuracy it's hard to build him so i build him on swift but obviously fatal rage works really well i've seen a few double nemesis will daphnesis so the opponent takes the first third if they go for daphnes the are gonna pop the nemesis and he's gonna go with skill free so yeah that's a pretty good counter pick uh but i feel like swift i like i prefer it more swift i prefer on swift or either rage or fatal but um people use him on double nemesis will it's not too bad actually um yeah focus on attack focus on speed i mean the speed doesn't need to be that fast you need to focus on the speed and try to speed tune him with your units 
then focus on crit rate, accuracy, and then if you can get some defense HP is good, but it will be squishy anyway, because his base stats are terrible anyway. The HP and the defense kinda terrible. Um, how to counter him? Daphnis is not the main unit anymore. He's not super meta anymore. Uh, I feel like he's underrated, but he's actually really, really good, especially with Wolves have been pretty dominant still after the nerf. Uh, Daphnis can just strip, defense break, delete a unit. So Daphnis is pretty good. Uh, how to counter him is usually one of the last picks, so it's gonna be hard to counter him or to counter pick a Daphne's pick because it usually comes towards the end of the pick and ban phase, so it's really hard. But obviously, water units are really good. Leica is pretty decent because uh, Daphne's can't one shot Leica, right? So it might to hit Leica and then um, you know, I've seen Daphne's on violence as well. Uh, if you if you want to build them on violence, it's not bad, obviously. Uh, but Laika is okay. Water units are pretty good against him. Obviously, if you have Whip and there's a Daphne against you, if you have a Vusa and there is a Daphne against you, that's gonna be dangerous. A Molong that has burst damage on skill 3 be really good against Daphne because Daphne doesn't have that many HP anyway, and Molong is just gonna delete him with skill 3. Uh, water units overall or outspeeding Daphne. You need to be careful with that double nemesis with Daphnis though. Uh, <laughs> it's dangerous, it's dangerous because if you don't kill him, he's gonna move, he's probably gonna kill one of your units. Uh, but usually he's one of the last picks, so it's gonna be really hard to counter pick. So water units work pretty well against him because he might glance on skill free against them and they are probably gonna crit against him, meaning they're gonna do more damage on him and he's not the tankiest unit in the whole game. But I honestly am really happy that I got him. Uh, it's actually a really fun unit. Guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Let me know in the comment below if you have any questions and uh, I'm gonna answer them. Let me know in the comment below how you have your Daphnis built or how you prefer him built. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye everybody, take care guys, stay safe, bye.